We made it through Dungeons 7 and 8 in our last live stream on Calling All Retro Gamers. And you know what that means. It's time to do some prep for Dungeon 9. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Productions and Team RTFC welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. Yes, that's right. We are not necessarily on a Master System Monday. It's like a Master System Wednesday here on the 8th of February, but we are talking about some Golden Axe Warrior. We're going to be jumping right in to where we last left off. We're hanging out at around 02 on the map, 02. Um, and uh, it looks like there's a fairly straight line, almost like it was like destined to be there on our way down to the depths of where um, the next dungeon is, Dungeon 9. Dungeon 9 is in that bottom right-hand corner of the map um, in the L... 12s to the O 15s like that whole area right there because that's where we're gonna go to get into dungeon nine as we're getting oh so close to wrapping this thing up very excited um but like i said in a, almost a straight line in the o's in O five, 5 if i'm not mistaken uh indeed O five, 5 we get a shop with a golden apple for 40 horns that's a killer deal. We got we need one of those. Um, and then we've got some magic oil at the low, low price of there's there's one for 90 horns. Oh, and there's um and there's some magic oil for 130 horns that's somewhat nearby um in the ends. And eight is uh, a location where we can get that one for the 90 horns. Now there is it isn't the cheapest. The magic oil, cheapest magic oil, I think, is um is the 70 horns, but that's all the way back on the other side of the map. And you know what? We're a little flush. Got 246 horns. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. So what I want to do is grab everything up, you know, get the horn, um, you know, get the horn spent, get my uh, magic oil up, get the golden apple back, and then kind of like move our way down the map. Um, to the town of 015 so we can hit that one last save point before we go straight across to the dungeon. Now, is that going to be an easy task? I'm not sure. Never been there before. Um, so let's go on together and check this all out. Let's go. <clears throat> all right, so here we are in the O15 area, or the O, I'm sorry, this is the O2 area, um, but we got the, we got the, we got the bell, boom, there we go, we know how, we know how this goes, anyone gonna appear, no, we'll just make everything nice, nice and icy, as we get back over to the O's, um, and it, and it, th I think the O5 is literally only Three screens away, one right, two down. I mean, how easy is this? Let's go. So here we are in this screen, and it should be right right here. Oh, see? The ice bell tells us what to do. Very, very cool. You've got an extra horn there. So using the ice bell, <clears throat> remember, anything that is still like that orange hue means that you can shoot something at it and make it go away. And what do you need to shoot? Of course, that thunder magic. Boom. And then you can go right in here for the shop. And there they are. <clears throat> How about a golden apple for 40 horns? Yes. Yes, sir. There we go. We got the, We got it right away. That's it. Um, for that one. And then now we got to go into the ends a little bit further down, uh, closer to actually where the, uh, closer to where, shh, shh, closer to where the end of the game is. Shh, shh. Yeah. Um, we're not going to see that yet though, but N, I want to say it was N8, if I'm not mistaken. And it is. So again, that's only two, um, one, two, three down and one over to get to N8. So again, we should we should be able to just get get this done, get it in there. So let's see what we got. 
And of course, <clears throat> there's our apple, ready to rock. Do do. That was easy. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. We're gonna need to we need to grind some in order to get the uh the pots back. Oh man, that was pretty easy actually. Oh, and some bread. Oh these guys are these guys are just giving us stuff. There we go, with some horns back. Alright, even more horns. All right, and then we still got to go down. Uh, no, it's over one. One more over. And there's that shop right there. Oh, and these guys. These guys are always usually good for bread or sometimes horns. Maybe some pots. Oh, yeah, there's the bread. There's the bread. We're hungry. We're hungry. Getting those hearts up. All right. We go down in here. Everything's on sale. We got some meat. Yeah, I don't need that. 20 horns, though. That's not bad. That's not a bad, bad value. Here is, here's what we're looking for, though. We're looking for that magic oil. 90 horns, like I said, a little, little on the more expensive side, but it's better than the magic oil at 130 horns at some of these other shops. 90 horns, still not bad. Boom. Getting it. All right. It takes us down to 123 horns, but, I mean, we're back up and running, ready for the next dungeon already. So we don't even need really anything else. Um, besides maybe, you know, a couple coin, we want to stay at the end and get, get, a, get a nice heal up in case that area is really, really nasty. But, um, <clears throat> but I'm not sure exactly whether or not it is nasty or not. Um, but what we want to do is, you know what, let's hit up the save point. Um, yeah, it's only two screens over. Let's hit up the save point over here. Uh, whoops. First, we'll hit these guys up, see what kind of goodies you got. Any pots? Any magic pots? There we go. There's one at least. And a horn. All right. So we're almost like fully ready to rock here. And then if you go down here, of course, uh, in the cemetery, you've got... You got your coins, but you also got the save point guy. And yes, we will save. Um, we will save down here. And the reason why is because now we're all filled up. We got the magic oil. We got the golden apple. In case something happens to us, we need to like, yeah, like it was super perilous. We're actually pretty close to where we need to be to get around um, to get to get on the ship and move. So, um, you know, not not too shabby, not too shabby. Of course, we're going to take damage. You know, a little chip damage here, a little chip damage there. You know, it's it's gonna happen. So that's how it's like the name of this game is just, you know, like taking taking uh taking all sorts of hits. But um, normally, we can uh, we can recover pretty quickly. All right, got some more horns. Nothing too bad there. I got these orange guys. There we go. There's some bread. I'm looking for uh all right horns aren't so aren't, aren't too bad i was really looking for uh some pots but uh don't think i'm gonna get lucky there there you go there's one nice all right uh, so we're at m10 right now and over the next screen is going to be actually where we need to go um right here here it is. And uh, we can just cross right over. And there we are. We are now at um, the next and final island area. I mean, the orange guys right away. That's 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 saying something. We just uncovered something. What is this? What is this place? Um, this is L11. According to this... I'm not sure, actually. L11 is an info house. So let's see if somebody has something to say to us. It is useful. This is Alturia. Al Altoluria. 
Altalia? I don't know. One of the three continents of this world, Death Adder, blocked the path that leads to the central region of the continent. Um, okay. But in the central region is where we need to be. What did he block the path with? Hmm. Interesting. I'm not exactly sure what we need to do then. We need to, like, open something up or you know, get some monsters or what do we need to do? Or what if we just need to chop down trees? Can't get there. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder if there's a way to get through here. Oh, I could. Yes, you can get through there. So is this what this guy was talking about? He blocked the way through the center of the continent. Do I have to like, do I have to hit it with magic? No. Interesting. Hmm. Not sure what to do there. Let's go around and see what's going on. I wonder if it's one of those that you have to defeat everyone. Oh. Man, those guys aren't messing around. They're throwing, they're throwing fireballs at you. Alright. Oh. That is not friendly. Man, that hurts. That definitely hurts. All right, so we go across here. More of these guys. I'm out of here on those. Got some magic. Got those. All right. wonder if there's anything in this. This is N13. Anything in here? No? Nothing, not looking any, like, like there's anything there. I mean, you never know, though. This place is not, not messing around, though. Look at my health. It's crazy. No, not looking like there's anything there. All right. So you should be able to go straight across, straight up to this little little town area. What do we got in here? What do you got to say to me? Okay. I mean, are, this, are these guys, like, all about the Death Adder? Okay. I mean, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to, we're trying to save the peeps. What's in this place? Oh, there we go. There's an in and a save point, it looks like. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we could save. We're, we're in here. Then we got to do a little more exploring to see how we get... How are we going to get around? How are we going to get around in this place? All right. Oh, here we go. I think this is where it's at. This, this might be this might be where it's at. Let's let's ice spell it up. Um, so we can get rid of all of them. Interesting. Very interesting. This is O14. It doesn't seem like there's anything else there. Hmm. Not, in, I'm not, this is weird. I mean, 
We'll go. I mean, we got we got tons of magic, so yeah. We'll just there we go. Oh, there we go. Let's see what what's, what's this guy say. I'll give you a present. All right, I'll take fifty horns. Thanks, guy. All right. This guy's this and all that stuff there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do here. I guess we have to go back. Let me just save that because we just did get all those horns. I wonder how much the inn costs. 40 horns? I mean, we just got 50 for free. Um, You know what? Yeah, let's let's do it. Nice. All right, so we're so we're filled up. 163 horns is still not bad. Let's do another save. Save Varunsky. And um, so I guess that's I gotta do some more research now. We'll figure out how to get into this icy icy land. It's gotta be that um. I wonder if I hit the ice bell. I wonder if I ice bell the uh that that uh I wonder if I ice bell the the which one call it or thunder magic hit. Let's go see. Let's go see. Just real quick. Because if it's you know I mean, if it's that easy, then then we can we can still keep going for a for a little while longer anyway. Go around here. I mean it could also be you have to defeat the guy too, right? He's all the way over there again. Let's see if Ice Bell does anything. Ah. There it is. Ice Bell for the win. Ice Bell does it. All right, cool. So we're in on this thing. So then it's uh, one down, two over. One down, one over, and then to the next town. So let's see. Let's see what these uh, these baddies have to say. I've got a clear path to the dungeon now. So what the heck are those things? I got hit by one of them, though. That was not friendly. These aren't too bad. All right, got that. This can be, yep. And then this goes down in here. We made it. None worse the wear here. And what do we got to say here? What do we What do we got in here? Unless you use the golden axe, death adder, one lever die. Yes, we knew we knew that. We need the golden axe in order to get it. My grandpa told me the ice bell has a mysterious power, but he can't remember what it was. Well, I mean, it's possible that you, when you use the ice spell, you can get into this area. But I mean, maybe there's another power. Maybe it's in maybe it's in the dungeon. Maybe they just forgot that this was where they were where they were putting it. I heard this place used to be warm. Now it's freezing. Even if you use the ice spell, you sometimes won't be able to tell if certain. Oh, really? Hmm. All right. Oh man. Huh. Wow. Is that foreshadowing? Are we gonna find out that this guy is actually the heir apparent to the land? There we go. There's we got some more people to talk to. Nice. <laughs> there are four types of magic thunder, earth, fire, and no one knows the fourth one. We have it, it's water. Just be like, hey guy, it's water. <laughs> That's funny. To a world of snow. Oh. What does this guy got for shops? Golden apple for 100. Magic oil for 130. See? You get the magic oil when it was cheap up top. And then the magic feather. Okay. Exit. Exit there. Yeah, we're going to save again. Yeah, we're going to save it there. Nice. There we are. 
all the way down on 015. And we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten screens away from getting to the next dungeon. The ninth dungeon. What would normally be called the final dungeon in some games, but it isn't. We were very, very close. So that seems like an awesome natural stopping point. 015. We're geared up. There we are. We got the gear. We got the gear. We even got some horns to spare. And we're only looking for one pot. We'll grab that on the way. You know we will. And then it's time for Dungeon 9. Mm, good times. All right, so let's go. <clears throat> looking very good. Nice, A nice little episode there for you guys. Um, just getting some more things ready to rock on their way to Dungeon 9. And, and there we go. We did it. We, get, we made it all the way from 02 all the way through, stopped on the on the on the way, got to know where the good shops are, get the sweet, sweet deals, get them in there, and then get on down um, and even solve the mystery on how to enter the ice, um, the ice area. And of course, it is by using the ice bell. Boom. All right, cool. Very excited. I'm excited to get into Dungeon 9. Um, maybe we'll do that on a live stream over the weekend. Maybe Saturday night? Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot going on. We got, you know, like I said, in, in the wrap up here, we've got all sorts of stuff. I'm going to be on Amico Ferrero tonight. That's going to be crazy. Go over on DJC Game Studio channel. We see this bright face talking about all sorts of cool games like the Sega Master System, like the Sega Genesis. And of course, the Evercade will be a featured topic on the uh, Amico Forever podcast today. So that's going to be on 930 EST, I believe. Um, over on DJC's channel, he's one of a friend, so his link to his channel is down below in the description, so you can go ahead and hop on over there and say hi, um, if you'd like. Um, on Thursday, we got Calling All Retro Gamers, and we've got a special guest, and that's MC Mer, and he's a pretty cool dude, loves to get some awesome deals, I heard, um, whether it be on a flea market or through GameStop, using the power of the Power Up Pro rewards card. He's a cool dude, and I hope that you guys are going to be uh, liking, stop, stopping on by to um, Calling All Retro Gamers to talk to all of us on Thursday night. That's Thursday night around the 9, 9 p.m. EST mark. We hit 9, 9, 10, something like that. You know, you know how you know how we roll, right? And, of course, we roll the same way on the Evercast. Final show on Bacon Ice Cream Productions for a while um, will be will take place on Saturday, that's right, this Saturday, the, I believe it's the 12th, if I'm not mistaken, it's the 11th, it's the 11th, Super Bowl is the 12th, so the 11th final show here on the channel for a while, and, um, you know, it's going to be a kind of like a weird, relaxing episode, maybe we hit Morph Cat, maybe we have special guests, I've been kind of picking, you know, pinging out to people, see if they want to come on, come on by, um, who knows, but you know what it is also, or always, it's always, your weekly dose of Evercade goodness. So hop on over to the Evercast as well. Um, and then say say hi, and we'll see you soon um, to the Evercast as it leaves our channel and goes on to Edge channel to help all of the Evercade, Evercade community grow and, and keep going on and all that stuff. So Evercade Effect is where it's going to be on the 18th, but still here for one more week right here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions. So... I think that's it. Oh, yeah, that's right. And Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, my goodness. There's so, so much. Of the, you, you, and you wonder why we're having these weird you know, these weird episodes. <laughs> um, yes, um, on Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday is going to be a live stream with Joe Montana football on the Sega Master System. Boom. It has returned to the studio. We're going Sega Master System this year, not Game Gear. And it'll be Chiefs, Eagles. And who's going to play? I don't know. You guys got to go to the video where I'm asking you guys to hit in the in the comments below. We're currently tied. I mean, I can't have a tie. Somebody's got to break the tie. Tell me which one. Tell me, when I'm, tell me what I'm playing. Am I playing Philadelphia? Am I playing Kansas City? I don't know what I'm playing. But you guys know because you guys are going to tell me in the comments of that video. So get on over there and tell me what to play. And we will on Sunday. And that's all we got. Man, a lot of cleanup today. A lot of If you guys are still here... Watching this mouth flap. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. um, 
But anyway, um, that's it. That's all, that's all we got for right now. And until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich. We'll see you later. Take it easy, guys. rtfc.bacon.icecream.com You thought we left. You thought we left. I got you. I got you. This is the part of the video where I'm also saying a deep and sincere thank you to the first and so far only member of the Good Times Club, the Ever Canadian. What's going on, Pete? It's me. I'm just saying hi to you and saying thanks for being a member of the Good Times Club as we grow that as well but more on that soon and this is going to whole look a whole lot different as soon as i get all of the assets and life and all that kind of stuff out of the way but like i said every video i'm going to thanks i'm going to thank everyone that's that's in the gun times club um by some way it'd probably be like one of those screen things it'll be like thanks for everyone for being in the thing and then it'll be like all of your names but right now it's just pete so thanks pete and we'll see you later